concert at one. I think it was the only one that he ever went to. It was uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Wow, he saw Earth, Wind, and Fire. Wow. 1976, oh, when God. all the hits lifted up. Every wow. famous Earth, Wind, and Fire like this. Good morning, everybody. It's going to be another great Saturday build day here in the Philippines. Yeah, the project still lives on. It continues on. And today should be a concrete pouring day again. Pouring the very final walls for this house and uh, I am excited for that and one of them is going to be the big main wall up on the front of the house it's going to have the big plate glass window and then another sliding window up behind those big columns oh my goodness so uh, I'm pretty excited for that this is going to be the finality of walls on this house and uh, I mean you just can't beat that I do have like a little um, storage area where we're going to be doing a little bit of pouring maybe before we go. We'll see. Well, I was just showing there at the beginning of this. So, David Lee Roth on Joe Rogan. I mean, uh, that brings back some memories for me. What about you guys? You know, David Lee Roth, boy, Van Halen. And then all of his he did himself like with the Eat em and Smile album and all. Uh, pretty quirky stuff that David Lee Roth did out on his own. You know, it was fun. It was fun music. Pretty quirky, but uh, but good times. Well, anyway, I just like seeing old David Lee, you know, still out there making the tours around and interviews and stuff and all. Uh, pretty great. I went to the reunion concert they had where um, Sammy Hagar, the Red Rocker, and David Lee Roth both performed and uh my brother was working for him my my brother and sammy hagar were pretty close with each other back in my place in texas i have so much van halen paraphernalia signed guitars um that those were from my late brother uh that sammy hagar signed some other artists signed some guitars as well but sammy hagar signed so many bottles of like Cabo Wabo and all I sent to my brother and many other things. I tell you, it I, I could literally kind of have like a Van Halen museum at my place. I have jackets and some of this stuff I got um, not from my brother but from the bands but through my brother uh, with his connection with them and all. And a lot of it was personally given to me as well. I, I tell you what, so if you can tell, I've got a, a fondness in my heart with Van Halen and David Lee Roth and a lot of memories on them, for sure. And I could just imagine the memories that my brother had. I can remember being uh, over at my brother's house and him being on the phone with old Sammy Hagar, yeah. And uh, even one time called him up, man, they were like, put on speakerphone, he's like, hey, little brother, you know, he's carrying on, man, it's a good times, good times, yeah, uh, luckily in my life, got to know a lot of uh, rock and roll musicians, even if it's them passing and saying hello, and some of them got to know them, you know, and so, uh, that's pretty cool, brought back some memories right there, David Lee, just keep on rocking it, brother, keep on being yourself, all right, well, that's enough of that, Let's get on out here and uh, get out on the bill for the day. But I know a bunch of you probably say, you know, this Texan country boy and all that he's probably, uh, uh, you probably imagine that I'm just into country music. But country music is probably the least that I'm into. I have been a rock and roller my whole life. I'm a rock and roll cowboy yeah rock and roll cowboy and i like any of it man i tell you what i'm all right with rap i'm all right with hip-hop i know a lot of it and another thing that might trip you out about this old texas country boy is i know how to mix some of them turntables too believe that or not i sure do i can spin them i sure can uh just been around all of that stuff so much in my life.
so funny he was hand sawing it and I said how come you're not using a saw he said it's a brown out I said not here it's not a brown out <laughs> it's solar apparently it's a brown out all over at all their houses now there's solar here he's going down to get we'll plug it up right now So they're gonna be ready to pour this in just a, a little while. Looks like they need to get a form or something made. What right here, Joel? Is that one you need to get done? That's yeah, it. yeah. Where's where's my mock at? Inside. Getting all that top side prepared. Let's see what else is going on in here. Okay. My mock's got him a small form, it looks like made to go in right there. There's a little transition on the wall right there. Uh, right where a column is. It's like he's already got him a form made. Yeah, he don't like a whole lot being done there. I told him when he uh, finishes there, I'm gonna put him on top, getting all these uh, boxes all set up there everywhere, like above me right here, where all the lights are going in this room, in the hallway, and up in that foyer. So uh, him and I will mark out where all of them are going. And we will get those put in. boy cutting that wood he's using a handsaw because he don't know how to use the power saw and he's scared of it so he's just going to use what he knows and that's using the handsaw hey those don't get bent over there huh hey why are you bending that huh not those Oh, just chop those off. Just cut off. Yeah, with the grinder. We got power with the grinder from solar. Yeah, don't try to bend those. Yeah, just cut them off. What it is, that's where our column comes up, and it's got six pieces of 16mm right now. And they were going to try to bend them over to the floor, but that's just too hard with a little short piece of 16. And we're reducing those columns down smaller. Um, hey, Nardo. When you cut those, cut these two over here, okay? And leave those because I like the spacing better. The one with the, the binder on it, the binder. Yeah, those two, cut those two, okay? Later, get the grinder later and cut those. All right, Edmund, put, put it on this side, okay? Well, that's what's happening up here right now. Um, let me venture on down and see what else is going on. Missed a phone call from California from my neighbors. Um, they were just want to check on us to see how we're doing. I'm gonna try to call them back later. Yeah, great, great neighbors right there. I wish they would have been here during this trip, but uh, with their health and all, they decided to just stay back over 
in Cali right now and not make that journey back in here. They actually stayed here up until like uh, mid-summer, what would be mid-summer in the U.S. Here, I guess they were here maybe two and a half, maybe, yeah, maybe two and a half more months, three months after Mel and I left. And they finally went on back to the United States also. They have caretakers there to take care of the property. We all watch it. Everybody here watches after each other. And that's a wonderful thing. That's another positive of being in a subdivision and being in a close-knit community is we all watch out for each other. And, uh, and they have great caretakers there. Inside the house here, it's uh, really cleaned up a lot in here now. Of course, we got work to do quite a bit when we return of finishing this house out. All of these doors are already purchased. The door jams are already purchased for each room. The outside doors are custom made. We have the windows. We have all of these windows. And the bucket been knocked out there, but there's one for this CR as well. But we've got all the shower fixtures and, and all already also. Those are good things. Yeah, good things. Um, I don't have all the light fixtures, but I have everything to close the house up as far as doors and windows. Yes, I do. Then we also hear where this plywood's sitting at now, countertop going. We've already purchased our nice big sink. It's going to go there, and you'll stand about right here. There'll be a countertop. You'll be looking right out at the ocean there. I know you can't see it right now the way the light is, but there you go. We'll be looking right out at the ocean like that there. Of course, that blue tank is going up on the roof right by where they're pouring up there right now. Some of the locals over here, they really keep inspecting my gabion cages. And I just missed that lady. She was there really, really checking it out. And now, I asked Melinda out there, did you get approval from the city? Did you get approval from the Brun guy? You know, they, they turned us in, filed complaints with the Brun guy captain, and uh, the city come out and all, but it's it's permanent, they're permanent to be there. The city feels it's a really good thing. They gave me real positive feedback on it. But even with that, the, the people over here in these areas, um, they complain and I just, I just don't get it, you know, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I just don't get it. Yeah, so that's going to be where they're pouring today. Hopefully it's right across there. So I'm up here at the plaza right now in Tigbawan. And uh, Melinda's grabbing some butter and some things. She's going to bake a couple of cakes. We bake a cake with that. What are you going to make? Rice cake? <laughs> so you got you some butter. What else did you get? I'm being nosy here. What's that? A little sponge deal. Oh, what well, she got hid back here? Eggs. Mm. I'm trying to figure out where your hidden treats are. No treats. No treats. <laughs> Somebody's door's not closed good. Your door, Melinda. Your door. You do that a lot lately. Well, it's just your blood, so I'm just trying to be not. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'll just say yes. curled up in the strangest way here at the back door. That is funny. Pussy! Mm. 
You're so sweet. All right, well, the news that I have is, let me show you. So what happens, well, what's happening right now is we got a concrete mix going on, but we also hear thunder. And you see the blue skies this way, right? And then look at those dark skies that way. And it is rumbling right now. Wait until in the afternoon to start pouring. And now we got a storm on us. Asking Joel to knock a couple holes underneath that window buck up there so they know when it's full. It's been some of you guys mentioned that before on here. We've done that a couple times. Kind of hoping the rain passes around us. The wind hit from two directions. I think the coastal wind pushed back this, this storm. It kind of stalled it right here, right on us. And notice the thunder has stopped really. What are you doing? What are you doing? Shh. Ha, ha, ha.